Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Extreme here, and this is going to be a little showcase on the update to the Lizard Colossus pack by Chris S and Riley S, and this update has made this pack already a colossal beast, <laughs> excuse the name, into something that is absolutely unstoppable and the only mod you'll need, I think, to be honest. Like this pack, with the recent updates it's had, has now made it the only harvester you need. So let's go, we're going to have a look at this in a sec. And if we head to our mod, so let's go to our Lizard Colossus Harvester pack. As part of the recent updates, like obviously you got your Colossus Harvester, 1.25 million liter capacity. However, if we go into some of our headers, so you got your all your normal header. However, if you go to the Unreal, you can see working with standard, and we can have 50 meters unrealistic. And with that, another option pops up with it says unrealistic crop guide. So. This shows you the width you're working on, so got none, white, yellow, blue, green, red, and back to none. And obviously, as part of the recent updates, obviously update 4.01 has added the additions of your root crop headers and that. But one addition that I have noticed with update 5.0 is the trader. So we've got the Titan Trader. And if we look at the configurations, got bolt crop standard, bolt crops unrealistic, and bolt crops unrealistic too. So capacity 20,000 litres for 20 grand, not a bad deal. Then you got half a million litres, 500,000 litres for 22 and a half grand. And then, yes, 5 million litres for only 25 grand. And previously, the capacities were for the root cart was like one and a half million liters. So now you have the option for five million liters for your root crops and your bolt crops. And again, 500,000 liters and your 45,000 liters standard. And as part of the update, there are some additions to the Titan. Popular header, so 8 meters standard brands, yes or no. But if you're using unrealistic, like with the normal combine headers, you got a slight variation, so you've got a 10 meter unrealistic working width, 20 meters, and 50 meters. We got the 50 meters unrealistic, and options for crop guys are the same. And you got your same with sugarcane. And I noticed the working speed is 69 miles an hour. Nice. But yeah, the main thing that I've been looking forward to personally with this update is the addition of the vineyard star. Because in FS2, doing vineyards has always been one of those that hasn't been the most favoured. But now with this Colossus pack. So we've got ultra unrealistic, that is a working speed of 25 miles an hour and a capacity of 100,000 years, 20,000 years for your normal unrealistic and then back to your normal uh, capacity of 3,450 years and obviously if I should go back into here, always got your engine options, got two and a half thousand horsepower and that increases the speed up to 150 miles an hour that is on the road obviously still the working speed when you're harvesting is 25 miles an hour and then you've got 750 horsepower with a four miles an hour engine and then back to 210 and for the olives it's the same ultra realistic unrealistic standards and got your again same configuration, so I'm not going over it too much. But yep, yeah, now we've got the vineyard mulcher. 
And this is something that ain't just for vineyards. You can use this for any crop in that in general for any usage. So obviously you got your mulcher, 1.4 meter work width, work speed of the miles an hour. Beacons got special, white, yellow, purple, pink, your usual stuff. Else LED clear, orange. But yeah, this is something I've noticed, so Again, has a common theme with this pack. With the unrealistic versions, always got your standard version. Then you got your one row unrealistic, four meters. Three rows at 10 meters. Five rows at 60 meters. And back to none. So for only seven and a half grand, you've got a mulcher that can do it at 25 miles an hour at 16 meters and beacon special white yellow purple pink blue green red LED clear LED orange and orange and back to none so and um, for your crop guides red green blue yellow white and back to none and the color configurations on all this is pretty much typical so I ain't gonna go mess around with too much with the configurations for color and then you also got a disc harrow, which is basically a subsoider. Well, not disc harrow, just a subsoider. And again, standard 60 or so requirement, one half meter work width at 25 miles an hour. And then you got 4 meters, 10, 16, and back to none. And again, same with the pruders, you've got your standard version. And with your unrealistic version, this is at 25 miles an hour. No other additions, but still you can have two of these hooked up. So you can do two vines in a row at the same time. And beacons, you've got special, green, white, and your usual stuff. And that is it. But the main purpose of this video is just show the working widths. Like, this is something I haven't seen with any recent mod reviews on this, so... We open our help menu. As you can see, we've got three of the root crop grain carts. And on this, we've got the lizard tandem. So, there's a tandem series, and we've got the tandem flex 39,000. You can get away with like the 15,000, that maybe, if you want it a bit narrower. But with this harvester, with the long pipe, it will have no problems getting to either of these carts so if we go to our harvester and fold the harvester pipe is out and then if we toggle to the header so we press l1 so we've got unfold and unfold the header and may notice on sites if i get rid of the help menu those still yellow things on site. That's what we picked as a colour, so that gives you the guide to the working width. And of course with this, I've got the high horsepower engine, so we should do this at a incredible amount of speed. So let's turn on the harvester and let's just watch this. Oh boy, like we're harvesting this, the poplars, and we're also getting wood chips, but again, you can do this with any other crop pretty much. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's the thing you've got to be careful of is obviously the speed and that, like the horsepower and that, so let's see how fast we can go realistically. Without losing control, so 40 miles an hour is where we're losing control. What I've gone done now is just change the option from locked wheels to free wheels. So the wheels on the tandem are free to move. And yeah, we're up to speed again. 40 miles an hour. Let's kick into high gear. And that's better. Like now we're harvesting at 60 miles an hour. Come look at 69, 70, there we go. So 69, 70 miles an hour. And just, yeah, 
a 50 meter header. And yeah, that's what he got be careful of is. Yeah, just. Yeah, let's say, think speed wise, let's knock it down a touch sec. So it was just after like 40 miles an hour it was having an issue, so. Yeah, you can still, like, with just this as it is, through 4, 3, 5 miles an hour. We are managing it fine. And what's that? 100 in 8,000 litres? No, sorry. 1 million. Yeah, 1 million. 83,727 litres. And in terms of the able capacity. Yep, again, trying to do. Go over the speed a bit. But yeah, that is only 7% fields, and that's with all three trailers, so. Potentially, if you can get us under control, tame the beast of this Colossus Harvester, you can do a 50 meter working with Harvest at 69 miles an hour, and have a total capacity of 15 million litres. That's compared to the previous record for console, at least, of 4.5 million litres, something I did recently on my Numerous Land Survival Challenge series. I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video, but... Yeah, 35 miles an hour, imagine it fine. Maybe it's because of the engine configuration, maybe it's like detune the horsepower, so we have less torque in that, maybe? Actually, let's go and have a look on that part, because what I'm trying to do is at 69 miles an hour consistently, with no issues whatsoever. So I've gone and slightly detuned the engine, and that does mean we're now restricted to 46 miles an hour, so rather than having a mere 3,000 horsepower, we're at a pesky... 46 miles an hour or so. Let's go and once again get some folded. And let's sort of finish off this harvest. So now we've got a slightly less torquey engine. Can we go above 40 miles an hour and still. Okay, we are skipping quite a bit here. So obviously, this comes down to the map group on as well. So. 37, just crank it down a touch. What about 36? No. Okay, let's try that 34 again. So, yeah, it looks like. Okay, careful with the turnings on this, but. I think, yeah, around the 30, 34 mile an hour mark is where you can. I'll recommend it safely without. Too many skips. Wait a minute, why are we still skipping? Alright, so I've managed to go and fix it, and what I did was change the tires on this to. Uh, what was it? BKT Super Singles. And put the 3000 horsepower engine back on. And yep, now we're having no issues with this, so. But yeah, personally, I still recommend. Like, because of like, the turn speed, like, so now we're just turning. Well, yes, yeah, so now increasing your working speed to 40 miles an hour. Also, just gone and done a little thing of unfolding the auger, so basically it all just fills up each cart individually. So, so I'll go into the like, middle cart and we'll empty into the other cart. But, like, at the moment we're at 3 million litres, 3.5 almost, and we're not breaking a sweat with this, like... Okay, we're having a bit of issues with steering and that, as mentioned before. But yeah, as long as you keep around 40 to... Yeah, around about 40 miles an hour, like... We can cruise and horses, and we'll get this big field done in no time. And for those interested on what map we're on, we're on four fields by Omatana. Of course, it's all one field, not one, 
It's all one fields and not four fields, that's because of in preparation, so I just thought, heck it, merge all the fields together, and like, seriously, like, this ain't no joke, like, on their f speech just by this mod, this is one of those mods where it has definitely speech just for the first time ever in Farms of Mystery. Even when compared to Farms of 19 when we had all the, I mean, this is stuff by TNT modding back in the day. But yeah, this, this you must download. If you like unrealistic capacity, you like fast farming or any of those. Download the Lizard a Cross pack by Chris S and Roy S because I can guarantee you you will not regret this at all. Like like that, it's just a 50 meter header, and you can do this with the root crops. You can do this with your corn header, corn headers, everything. Like seriously, like if you want the one mod to end all mods, one mod to only have on your Game that for the rest of your life. It's got to be this, I think, personally, and that's where I'm going to leave it today. Like, what is there else to say? Like, we're at 5 million litres already now, and we've got a bit more capacity to go, so yeah, we've got another 10 million to go, and yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it today. So let's go and slow this down, turn this off. Uh, yep, yeah. the Lizard Colossus Pack by Chris S and Roy S. If you like this video, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel and please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're in nice day. But for now, this is me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.